Welcome to the John Ambassar Stadium, where it has been a case of the lights are on, but no one's home for the Young Lions. And hopefully someone's going to be shining a winning beam to them as they look to pick up their first points, or maybe even their first win of the season against Tampanese Rovers, who come into this match buoyed by their victory against Tanjong Paga last week. For the Young Lions, uh, there are five changes to the side that lost 3-1 to, to Balastia Khalsa. This is uh, the Tampanese Rovers lineup. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they only make a couple of changes, and and it's great if you can call the likes of Taufik Suparno to take over club captain Yasser Hanapi. Joel Chu to take this. Uh, trying to do some damage against his former team. Plays it short to Taufik Suparno. It's a training ground routine that's worked superbly for Kopitovic. First time shot and usually that bulges the net. This time though, the upright saves the young lines. Yet again, free and available is Faris Ramli. If Nakamura decides to use him, goes for goal. Palmed away by Azil, still kept alive. Should have been goal number one. Just couldn't get the hitter on target right in front of Azil Yazid. Kopitovic. Faris Ramli. An opportunity for a strike at goal. And again. Almost all angles of the post have already saved the Young Lions. Corner swung in, and it's the opening goal. I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't coming. And it has finally arrived from the scourge of the Young Lions last year. Taufik Supano, who scored four against them last year, has opened the scoring in 2023. And the only surprise is that it took 31 minutes for the first to come. Balls uh, gone really deep, uh, not the best of touches uh, from uh, Kopitovic. Joel Chu's uh, skipped pass, a couple of challenges. Uh, they're hunting for another, they've got another. And all of a sudden, while waiting for an repelled by the keeper and the posts on three occasions, uh, within a couple of minutes, within three minutes, uh, they have got two. Yeah, and uh, for a moment there, you thought it was Joel Chu's goal, his shot. Deflected and then Faris with an easy finish in the end. The corner was a dangerous one, which was driven, driven just slightly over the head. Nakamura, oh, 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 that would have been one of the goals of the season. Just did everything by his own accord and his own ability and skill. And uh, Aizil had to pull off a save. Rezareski. Rescue the situation. Faris Kopitovic off the crossbar. And it's Ong Yuan, whose only goal in the Singapore Premier League has come against the Young Lions. And a year and a half later, two and a half years later, has got his second against the same opponents. And Tampanese have got their third. Again, I think it all came off after a mistake at the back from Aizil, but it was a long way from then. And uh, very good cross in. From this right-hand side, Faris, what a ball. It's put a very sorry night to rest for the Lion City Sailors. Uh, this is a weaving run from uh, Nakamura. Still Nakamura. <laughs> that would have been some goal. <laughs> he was always trying to find Boris Kopitovic. Uh, looking, looking. The moment he was marked, he had no choice but to take it on. And just wide. Still, though, three points for Tampanese. Three goals for Tampanese. Another defeat for the Young Lions. Their 300th in their Singapore Premier League history. Lots to do for Philippe Au. But for now, we leave you from the Chalambasar Stadium with Tampanese 3-0 winners.